Sunday, December 29th, 1957, and the eyes of the sports world turn to Detroit, Michigan for professional football's World's Championship that pits the Cleveland Browns against the Detroit Lions. The Detroit secondary, one of the best in the business, also includes Roger Zatkoff. He doesn't move the way he used to, but Metro Detroit native Roger Zatkoff tells me he feels pretty good for being 86 years old. Feel good, got to get the hip replaced, but that'll be fine. You know, I expect that'll take a couple of weeks and then I'll be back on the on the horse again. Zakoff is one of nine players still with us from the 1957 Detroit Lions team, the last in franchise history to win the NFL championship. Sixty years later, he looks back fondly on that title winning season. To me, I was a great experience. I mean, to winning that championship. And the Lions had everything going their way. It was a team. They were they they would back everybody up. Everybody was together. The final score reads Detroit Lions 59, Cleveland Browns 14. What was it like in Detroit after you won it all? Was there a parade? Or there was a parade that everybody went to down Woodward Avenue, so that was fun. One year after winning the championship, Zach Koff retired from football to focus on his business and his family. He and his wife Elaine kept boxes of sports memorabilia from his playing days, from being a pro with the Lions and Packers to his time with the Michigan Wolverines, where Zach Koff is enshrined in the school's Athletic Hall of Honor. He has many boxes that haven't been touched in decades, but he opened them for me. You don't know what's in any of these? I have no clue as to what's in any of these things. This happens to be the playbook for the 1950 Michigan Rose Bowl team. November 26, 1950, Detroit News. Let's see, that's the Rose Bowl. 51 Rose Bowl. 51 Rose Bowl. That's awesome. Picture. We were signing our contracts with the Green Bay Packers. The squeeze place sends Zadkov home to the Lions. When the Lions were the most in Motown, there you go. I love this picture because that's where I, I was being blocked, came across in those days, threw my body at him. That was Vic Chenowitz, and with my hand I punched the football out. Even though injuries limited his career, Zakoff tells me he'd do it all over again. As for the future of the Lions, he believes someday soon the franchise will win another NFL title. With the new management, Martha Ford, and with Quinn, we're on the right track, and I think these and the team that they're assembling right now, our players are going to bring us a championship. Zakoff's legacy extends far beyond the playing field. He and his wife have six kids, 11 grandkids, and seven great grandkids. The company he founded back in 1959, Zatkoff Seals and Packings, is the largest independent distributor of seals in North America, employing over 170 people. In the Continuous News Center, I'm Jason Fielder for Sports Extra.